this. Gotta save this gorilla. <laughs> These guys are pretty fun to fight. Yeah, I think they're. I mean, the girl ones are fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, to they're fight. Cool. Wait, awesome? No. Okay, yeah. But you know what really helps? No. Fighting them. The slide. Because they jump away from you and then you can slide at them. I guess so. Yeah. Wait, can I see the description for Slapshot? Rapidly strike enemies ahead of you. Okay. Tarzan has so many skills. Yeah, all them skills. Alright, good time. Alright, where are we going? Let's go this way. Yeah, sure. It's always the easiest. Sorry, you are like on a fucking roll right now, man. I mean, technically oh, yeah. you're Sora, so... Did I say Tarzan? You said Sora. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm pushing the button and he's running all of this slide. This, you know what, this is right here. This is why I but, disabled slide. Then don't use it. Cause it's like... I'm never gonna remember to disable it every time until I'm in a fight, and then I'm gonna. Fight. Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying like disable it. I'm just saying like literally just don't attack until you're next to the person, so he won't slide there. Well, but the part of the problem with like I was in amongst five of these little monkey dudes, and um, I was fighting one that was like all the way across the screen, so then I was like auto sliding. Mm -hmm. Obtained fire G. When is it that we get cooler stuff? Like, cooler spells? Is it like, as we lock each world, we get cooler spells? I guess, I don't know. Doesn't uh, Merlin teach us something? Yeah, but not... Cliff! Go to the cliff, go to the cliff. I like, to call, it, I like to call it the cliff. Yeah, me too. A power shard. Did you ever have you ever finished in such a way that you were able to craft the ultimate weapon? Yes. I don't think I have. I have crafted the ultimate weapon. Yeah. Is it worth it? Um I mean no, no. because by the time you get it you're probably like super max level and yeah. whatever. If I remember correctly Actually I think I did it on the last one. If I remember correctly, I think it's cool because the way it looks, it's basically like a sword with just like some extra just like intricate metal-y bits that make up the actual key part of it. It's like basically it just looks like a big sword with some extra shit on it that's kind of shaped like a key. It that looks super neat. cool. What's oh. your favorite keyblade? What's my favorite keyblade? Yeah. Probably just the original one. Really? Um, Oblivion and Oathkeeper are both super cool. Yeah, I like Oathkeeper a lot. Ugh, god damn it. If we had that attract whatever... Yeah. It could be so much easier right now. I think it's called Magnet or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um... Ultimate Weapon was actually the name of the ultimate sword you could get in Final Fantasy VII, but it looked totally different. But then they have Ultimate Weapon in Kingdom Hearts 2 also, and it did actually kind of look like the Ultimate Weapon from Final Fantasy VII. Well, that's cool. <gasps> Ooh, truffle! Damn you, truffle! Fire! What do you have to do with these guys? Fire! You have to follow oh, their cues. Oh, right. So, like, he was shivering, so you have to give him fire. Yay! Yay! I love you, Truffle! Mm, there's another one over there, but I don't have all this stuff. I don't have the right spells. I don't have that one. I love that he's, like, an enemy, but if you attack him, he gets, like, mad at you. He's just like... Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't have these ones. Oh well. Chase Neckbeard says, I am Oat Keeper, Keeper of Oats. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> I think it's funny that there's never any bad guys up on Hippo's Lagoon. Like, it's just not a thing. <laughs> Glorp says, my favorite Keyblade is probably Oblivion, although I also like Daggerfall. Whoa. That's an Elder Scrolls joke. Is it? Yes. What the fuck? Well, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Liam just said, just learned what to do with these guys. Thanks, Nicole. Oh. About the truffles. That's funny. And actually, you basically need them. Um, the, the most useful thing about this entire world is that those things always show up in the camp area after you seal this world. Um, they still show up for some reason, just like in Alice in Wonderland, they also show up there a lot. Uh, and so if you're trying to get into the crafting and getting all of the materials to get the ultimate weapon, you basically need them, because they drop specific things. Hmm. What? Discipline Daddy says, Ultima Weapon was the ultimate weapon you got for killing Ultimate Weapon, which is a true statement from Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII, the least ridiculous game ever made. Apparently. Did I just come from this place? No. Don Vines 2. This what? is awful. What's like the fat chocobo one? What? You know, the Keyblade, isn't it called like Fat Chocobo or something, or is it just called Chocobo? It's just called Chocobo. That one's weird. Chocobo! <laughs> the Hercules one is kind of cool, but I think it's like weaker than the Jungle King one. Yeah, it's one. not as strong as you want it to be. Sure. So, like, there's kind of no point to using it. The Aladdin one looks nice, but it's short. I, for a while, I liked the um, Halloween Town one. Yeah. But it's not as cool as some of the others. There's a cool one from Kingdom Hearts 2 I'm thinking about that's kind of like... I think you get it from Merlin or something. It's like a magic one that's kind of all star-shaped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Oathkeeper is another one that, like, I've never actually used because it was never useful for me when I got it. Yeah. Which is too is bad. Is I fight that dumb leopard again? Definitely used Oblivion, though. For sure I did that. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, Riku gets a super cool Keyblade at the end of 2. Oh, the Beauty and the Beast one looks super cool, too. Yeah, the rose. I would agree with that. On a 101 Dalmatians Keyblade. You want 101 Dalmatians everything. Cool. Tell me I'm wrong. What do I get now? Shell Shell G. G. Oh boy, this is riveting. If you play this whole thing, can I fight the boss? Cliff? I mean, yeah, yeah whatever. That guy? Clayton! Clayton. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Clayton! Yes. Because I do not want to. Kingdom Hearts Pro Tip, save often! Because the dumbest shit can kill you. Oh, it's after midnight. It is? Yeah, what? It's after midnight. We have to watch the Daily Show. Oh, we do have to watch the Daily Show. Do 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 do
do do Can I just jump off? I can just jump off, right? Mm, I don't think so. Just think, we can finish Tarzan, and then two things. A, we'll never have to do it again. B, next time we can do Hercules, and then we can do the Return of Traverse Town, which are both cool. The lame thing, though, is that I really like the Hercules area. So? But since I'm doing the uh, Tarzan area, doesn't that mean that you guys do the Hercules area? Uh... Yeah, dog. We can figure it out. Okay. Because you didn't want to do this area. True. Well, I thought we were going to be doing Hercules, so I was letting you do it. Then it ended up being this. Damn this area. Sparkle the Elf says, We all know Trevor Noah is going to be so much better than Jon Stewart. I don't know that we know that. Yeah, we definitely do not know that. I'm not, like, well, I'm not sure why we would know that. From the things that I saw via Twitter from the first ten minutes, I am already skeptical. Remembering this correctly. Clayton actually is not that hard of a boss. All things said and done. I don't know where you're getting that from. I didn't think he was. It's totes hard. Okay. Pretty much every boss in this game is hard. Confirmed and I. Um, some more than others. I think the Peter Pan boss is extremely hard. What boss is that? What? 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 Run away from these things! What the Clearly. fuck? Clearly. Isn't the um, Peter Pan boss the shadow? I don't know. I, if I can't remember it, it must not have been that hard, right? Well, I think it's just that the Peter Pan area is not is kind of forgettable. As yeah. A whole. You had all of Neverland and you put it on a boat. Yeah, basically. Good job, Kingdom Hearts. Tell me what to do. Oh, okay, Kyle, where do I go? Oh my god, you go, seriously. You go out of the tent. I had to go ask her where Mr. Clayton was, apparently. You gonna go do it? I just saved for you, yeah, so you're I'm, good to go. I'm Chat, playing please. now. Guys, I'm playing now. Me, the good one. What's in my pocket? Maybe, so Zekir mentioned that the hidden boss is bonkers hard. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, the hidden boss? There is a hidden boss that's bonkers hard. In Neverland, oh, isn't it a shadow? Yeah. yeah, you fight, it's like a Grim Reaper thing yeah, that you fight yeah, in front you, of the clock. Flies that around. thing is hard yeah, as fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to use the stop spell, like, all the time. Yeah, that was actually a um, US only special boss that was added. What is happening here? How, have you not been reading this? No, not really. Fake Brad Shoemaker says, fuck, Mary kill, Clayton, Tarzan, Jane's dad. Jane's dad? Yeah, the old guy, the little old guy. He's adorable. You should probably maybe use a potion. Yo, dog. No, I'm fine. Just watch me. This is going really well. Yeah! Wow. That was close. Yeah. You know what you should use instead of a potion if there's a time if there's time before the next cutscene or the next bo uh, boss battle. I can just run back to the save point. Yeah, but you can use a camping set and it will regenerate everybody in your party. Anyway, yeah. so fuck Mary Kill, uh, Clayton Tarzan James Dad, go. <laughs> fuck. Wait, who? Clayton. Okay. Tarzan. Okay. Jane's dad. <laughs> uh, well. 
You're gonna have to kill Clayton because he's a dick. Yeah. You're gonna for have sure. to fuck Tarzan because he's got that sweet bod. <laughs> and uh, marry Jane's dad because he's a very nice gentleman. <laughs> That's basically like everything I was gonna say. <laughs> Um, Liam's suggestion was fuck Clayton, fuck Clayton, fuck oh. Clayton. <laughs> Followed up by what were we talking about? Fucking Clayton, and then hey. and then mentioning that he wants that stash against his butt. That's a creepy stash. Oh, do we have to go back now? By the way, I got completely healed after that fight anyway. So cool, cool. So I did the right thing. I would have loved um, Amy Schumer for The Daily Show. Mm, no. No. Is Amy Schumer even into politics at all? Yeah, she's into a lot of stuff. Harold Krell says, I would fuck Clayton to assert dominance, marry Dane's Jad for the inheritance money, and kill Tarzan so I can be known as the boy who killed Tarzan. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's the only part that we need to know. M M Mizuro says, Clayton seems like the type to do a sexy pose on a bear rug while holding his gun. Uh, yeah, co-signed. Clayton's way into the Second Amendment, even though he's from England. Oh my god. I mean, so... I did hear that Amy Schumer said that she didn't want it. I'm just saying that I think it would have been a fun show. When did she say she didn't want it? I think I remember hearing that because she was like, she was like unofficially in the running and she just kept saying like, no guys, seriously, I don't want to do it. <laughs> like, don't even, <laughs> don't get all pissed off that I'm not in the running because I don't want it. Um, but there was another female comic who was in the running and I don't know. I just, I, I'm very nervous about Trevor Noah and The Daily Show. How do I get back to the treehouse? Uh, you have to go through this fucking rigmarole of going all across all the vines. And then you have to get to vines too. And then you have to go up the vine that's on the tree trunk. That seems dumb. You're going the wrong Whoa! way. Whoa! Now you're really going the wrong way. Bummer. Um... Gaston and Clayton would be a great couple, TBH. Yeah. Nick with London, I bet I could find you some seriously hardcore fan Kingdom fiction. Hearts fanfics of that. There's a whole website. Amy Poehler would have been great. Agree. Tina Fey would have been great also. Tina Fey would have been amazing. Yeah. I feel like Tina Fey is basically like the female version of Jon Stewart and would have been amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Harold Krell, I would kill Belle because I don't believe women should be allowed to read. Marry the Beast <laughs> because I want my children to have a strong father figure. And fuck Miss Potts, it's Mrs. Potts, because I bet she does crazy things with that spout of hers. Ugh. <laughs> Awful. Tarzan! Pickled Lennon says, Oh, I'm so game for Gaston Clayton fanfics. Gonna look it up right now, actually. Uh, I bet Liam could hook you up with that link that I passed him the other day. Um, and that link has, like, a whole drop-down menu situation where you can indicate which characters you want to be featured in the fanfic. It's crazy. If you were young when Kingdom Hearts came out, you were a certified Kingdom Hearts fanfic expert. <laughs> I mean, yeah, basically. Yeah. 
Here's a quick question while we're talking about Mrs. Potts and her various shenanigans. How many people in the chat actually um, have watched Once Upon a Time where you can meet the human representations of uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip? And, well, the chip isn't a human, he's actually a... Um, excuse me, there's a human representation of Mrs. Potts and Chip in Beauty and the Beast, thank you. That's true, true story. And it was always my least favorite part of the movie. It's like, I don't want to see all these dickheads as their shitty human versions. The happy ending of Beauty and the Beast is supposed to be that all the cool characters lose their character. Yeah. Um, Liam, there was a link that I gave you the other night during the during the stream. The, the first one, the one that you weren't oh, on. Oh, this is the black fruit. I'm supposed to be. Yeah, but you had on. to get to the little ones before you could do the big ones. Like it doesn't open until you do the uh. other ones. Um, Slade has has begun quoting the Gaston song. See ya. Good. No one's quick as Gaston. No one's neck is incredibly thick as Gaston. Come on, Kyle. I don't know the words, but the last time I experienced the song, I was in favor of almost all of it. <laughs> um, Shifty Cat and Rutabaga uh, are asking if Once Upon a Time is good, and no, it has its moments. It's one of those shows that I'm just like. I let six or seven episodes build up in the DVR, and then I'm like, ugh, I don't know anything else to watch. I guess I'll watch Once Upon a Time. And then I blow through all seven episodes, and I'm devastated that I don't have more. So, I, I don't know. If you can identify with that feeling, then you'll understand. If your girlfriend won't stop watching Once Upon a Time, and you have to watch it a bunch, <laughs> you can, in a sort of Stockholm Syndrome kind of way, start to... <laughs> sort of enjoy it sometimes. Yeah, it's But really no, good. it's not good. <laughs> it's on Netflix. Go binge watch. Um, <laughs> you know how you were talking about the end of Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. Shifty, <laughs> Shifty Cat says, no thanks. I prefer to remain in an animated battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> and now people are still uh, quoting Gaston. I use antlers in all of my decorating. My what a guy. Come on, Kyle. Oh, oh, my favorite one was I'm especially good at expectorating. Yep. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the real thing you should learn about Beauty and the Beast is that if you become a beast, all your friends become household objects and are therefore immortal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Actually, <laughs> that, Shifty that's... Cat just said I'm especially good at expectorating. That's, you guys are on the same wavelength. <laughs> that's the that's the real ending of Beating the Beast. They all turn back to people and they're like, "Finally, we can die." Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh no, Harold Krell! No, this is so awful. Well, now you have to read it. Harold Krell says, I would fuck Pongo because I always wanted to fuck a dog. <laughs> Marry Perdita because I always wanted to be upset when she found me cheating on her with Pongo. And I would kill Lucky because he almost died in childbirth anyways. So who's going to miss him? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> uh. Which is ridiculous, because you would definitely fuck Perdita. Have you checked out her her hot dog bod? <laughs> um, quick question. Go ahead. How many times have <laughs> you checked out Perdita's hot I dog I mean, bod? it's pretty hard to miss, Nicole. I saw that movie several times as a and young you child. And you didn't see Anita's hot human bod? I don't understand. What's happening here? Oh, well, I mean, I guess. But it's not really the reason to go to 101 Dalmatians. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, you're there for the dogs. <laughs> when, when in Rome, I guess. Yeah. Um, so the Steven Universe conversation has begun again, and at which point I now need to poignantly state that everyone needs to watch Star vs. the Forces of Evil, which I will hopefully be cosplaying at PAX East. Hopefully. If I can figure out this whole wig game. 
God, this... This thing, this deep jungle thing, at this point, is probably at least twice as long as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, dude. You took the controller. I was like, cool. This shit goes on... Pickle London hasn't found any Gaston and Clayton fanfics yet, so guess that means I gotta run it myself. I mean, yeah, yeah. If, that's, if that's your game, you go right ahead. <laughs> Glorp says they were humans in 101 Tell Me. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, there were several humans. There was, um, there was Anita and there's Roger. Anita. There's and then there was their little housekeeper lady who looks like the human Nanny. version of Mrs. Potts. I think it was just Danny. And then there was Jasper and Horace and Cruella. Horace and Jasper, get it right. Whatever. Then there were um, the host and all three contestants on What's My Crime. Yep. That's such a good bit. What's My Crime. I never said I don't like Steven Universe. Like, that is a... I know. I remember you saying, you said, I hate Steven Universe. It's the worst show I've ever seen. Those were your exact words, Nicole. Look at all these dumb apes. Or gorillas. Gorillas are apes, right? Of course no, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Guys, I'm gonna say this one time. I don't hate Steven Universe. Gorillas are oh, definitely sorry. apes for sure. No! no! Kyle, people really think I hate Steven Universe. What are you doing? I remember you saying that you hated it. That's a, not, not a true story. <laughs> this right. is not a true not fact. Clayton. No, it's not. Not uh. Clayton. I saw a few episodes and I didn't love it. That's a lot. That's a far cry from hating it. Saying, eh, didn't love it is not saying I hate this dumb shit and will never watch it again. But what about when you? I saw you watching an episode of Steven Universe and you said... I hate this dumb shit. People are gonna think that you're serious right now and you're driving me fucking nuts because you are joking and it's not okay that people are gonna think you're serious. Magical barrier, you can't escape! Are you gonna beat him? I feel like you're not beating him yet. Are you beating him yet? Is he dead yet? Did you beat him yet? Kyle, is it done? Are you done yet? Kyle, are Nicole, you done why don't you yet? shut up? You are being obnoxious right oh, now. Oh, that's right. You asked me why is he floating? Yeah, and then I remember these running chameleons. Which oh, is a thank little you. unusual. Ca Tarzan has healing magic too? Yeah. Man, is there anything Tarzan can't do besides speak correctly? And walk upright? Props. <laughs> Look how much Rush easier they made this there. boss. This has <laughs> to have been nerfed. For sure. No, I don't ever recall this particular boss fight being that difficult. Why is why can't we hurt him? What do, what did I what am I doing wrong? There we go. Yay! Yay! You wish, yeah. I made a good goof. That you were punching stuff. What? Oh, I still have to beat Clayton. Oh, yeah. fuck. This is what makes this hard. No, not really. You just have to time it right. Like, if I remember correctly, he's really susceptible to getting hit. You just have to check. You just have to get him. Like, see? This was not hard. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna, like, take a third of a health bar of damage and then like resurrect the chameleon. Guys. What? I mean, all you have to do is stop hating on Steven Universe. <laughs> oh my god, no, this is happening. It's I'm obviously joking. They're all they're probably all joking. Nicole, why would you compare Steven Universe to the start of Kingdom Hearts 2? <laughs> you like Once Upon a Time, but Steven Universe is the bad one. I hate this dumb shit and I'll never watch again, Nicole, on Steven Universe. You're a weird person, Nicole. That one was hateful. I hate the character design on Steven Universe. That's Brad Schumacher. That's a, that's a legitimate thing that he said. That That's not me. Uh, hey, look, hey. Oh, you missed it. Wait, what did we get? We learned Cure. Woo, we learned Cure. It's important. That's mega important. 
Oh, it's Kerchak. He's gonna be like. Everyone I, seems to agree with you that that boss was nerfed, but I do not. I was mean before, but now I am not. Sparkle nicer. the Elf, um. <laughs> says this fight reminds me of when I found out that Nicole's favorite show is Once Upon a Time and that she burns Steven Universe DVDs in the microwave. First of all, my favorite show is not Once Upon a Time, it's Grey's Anatomy, and yes, I am ashamed. Um, also. <laughs> I don't have any Steven Universe DVDs to burn in the microwave, but even so, I wouldn't burn things in my microwave because it's built into my wall, and I don't want to deal with the expense of replacing it. So, you're very, very wrong. And you know what's ridiculous? Hey. Seriously, what's bothering me right now is that people on the internet are going to see this video, and they're going to hear you say that I hate Steven Universe, and they're going to believe that to be a truth, and it is not, and then they're going to assault me verbally. Okay, two things. I think you've made it exceedingly clear at this point that it's not true. And two, uh, people on the internet are stupid and they're going to think a bunch of dumb shit. There's no need to encourage them. That's all I'm saying. Let's experience the end of the Tarzan story, though. I'm experiencing it. Get ready to experience some pretty fucking magical shit right here. Ooh. Yeah, right? Check this shit out. Check ah. this shit out. Yeah. It's my fireworks. You know guys. it, girl. Dalmatians? I don't think so. Dalmatians? Yeah! You were right, I was wrong. Dalmatians? No. What? Why would there be two right next to each other? That's dumb. Dalmatians? No. Uh, or Kelcoms are good though. They're rare. But I wanted Dalmatians. Just because you have a weird puppy fetish doesn't mean that you're gonna find Dalmatians in Nicole, every random treasure chest you come across. Nicole. Yeah. We have a name. Go on. It's Dalmatian Kin. What? <laughs> what are you even saying oh, right now? Oh, don't tell me you don't know about other kin. I don't think I do want to know about Oh, that. boy. You sure do want to know about other kin. I can tell you that much. Please, God, no. All right, hold on. No, no, no. Cutscene. We're watching okay, it. Okay, okay. I'm just reading this. <laughs> this is your home? But that means... Huh? Ooh. Oh. The waterfalls! They're echoing all the way here! <laughs> friends there. See friends. Oh, now I've got it! Ha! <laughs> means heart. Friends in our hearts. It's a really long heart. Heart. word for heart. That's what it meant. Oh, uh, I'm not really gonna get to see my friends, huh? Clayton. Lose heart. Hey, no uh, Tarzan, uh, this no whole thing friends. was adorable, but seriously, it just took me no two heart. hours and I'm, I still haven't found my no friends. friends. <laughs> Sorry about what I said. I'm sorry, girl. Aww. Uh, all for one, huh? Best buds. We're all buds now. Suddenly, a magical keyhole. We magic! I don't know if this has actually been explained yet. Ah. It probably hasn't been explained yet, but the thing is, like, the barriers between the worlds were breaking down and the worlds were all dying, and, like, locking the keyhole of the world saves the world from being destroyed. Yay! I think someone hey. admire us. <laughs> Guys, if we're gonna talk about kids shows in the chat, we need to talk about Girl Meets World. No, we don't. Haha! <laughs> 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 Duck infidelity! Navi G, that means we can use warp, right? Hey, listen! Listen? Yeah. It's a Navi G. I know. No, the only thing we can do right now is save the game and stop. Ooh, a cutscene. 
A cutscene we can't see because it's too dark. What drew the heartless to that world? Jafar. The hunter lured them there. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. <laughs> yeah, he got chopped. Oogie it's boogie. Hmm. A weak hearted fool like him stood no chance against the heartless. You know what Kingdom Hearts 3 needs? Robin but the Hood boy World. Is a problem. He found one of the keyhole. Back me up on this. What? You're not even listening. So Kingdom Hearts 3 needs a Robin Hood world. That would be amazing. Yes. Oh man, I love Robin Hood. Why? I'm, I'm being totally. I, oh, I thought you're, you're, No, I love the. No Robin one, no one can tell because they can't see your face. But you just had this completely like. I had this look dead, that I, dead it's look on your face, and that the baby woke up at 5 a.m. and then I slept for like an hour after that, and I'm exhausted. Those bad guys have Alice. We just found out about that. Oh, we just found out that the bad guys had Alice. Yeah. Gotcha. Now I'm allowed to talk about the fact that the bad guys have Alice. Where's your ship? It's a magical ship. Jungle King. It's not magical. It uses hard science. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole just started staring at me. We yeah. learned Red Trinity. Appropriately so. Wait, so what about Yellow Trinity? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you have to go back to Traverse Town first? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Leon will know. Why is his name Leon? Someone explain this to me. Why is his name Leon and not Squall? Are we gonna do this every episode? Do what? Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. Doodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. I'm gonna have that stuck in my head now for the rest of the day. Thanks, shifty cat. More like shitty cat. <laughs> yeah! Sorry, that was really mean. Shitty cat, That's fuck you! That's not a you. thing that I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, let's work on our gummy ship. Please, no. We, we got 25 minutes to fill. Guys, don't fight! Do I want to watch the tutorial? Guys, mm -hmm. who is even fighting right now? Nah. What are you talking Liam, about? Liam, who are you fighting with? Don't fight, chat. Apparently, <laughs> Shifty Cat said that they almost went with Shitty Cat for a name. <laughs> I mean, now I know what we're gonna call you forever. <laughs> Hope you don't mind getting called Shitty Cat forever. <laughs> oh, not nice. That's what they said. They said they almost went with <laughs> Shitty Cat for a name. No offense taken. I'm not, I'm not 10 minutes behind the chat. There's no way that was 10 minutes. You guys aren't talking that much. Liam, well, you stop being behind in this goddamn game. The thing is, I think you can see farther back on this chat log on the iPad than they can on like a typical browser. So you're probably how is that up even possible? Like I was going like here. Yeah. So it's, I was literally right there, and that's it. That that's not be, 10 that's minutes. from a f at least a few minutes ago, probably. Whoa! Check this shit out. I want this. Whatever this is. For I don't sure. want that. I don't want this. Why? <sighs> I can just go to bed. You could. Guys, the next no, episode you, you of this Let's Play just go to bed. is Kyle makes gummy ships by himself and talks to himself about it while he does it. Um, Yay! I feel like... Can you make a gummy ship that looks like a dick, please? Dick ship? You'd like that, wouldn't you? I mean, I did just ask if you could do it. I feel like that's probably an accurate statement. Do, 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 do. Ooh. 
Boy, I forgot how bad this interface was. Yeah. Why are there fucking tires? What am I gonna do a decorative wheel? Yeah, what am I gonna do with tires on a <laughs> fucking spaceship? They think that this ship looks like a dick. I mean, basically, yeah, I guess yeah so. it's like, it's pretty much like an upside like, down dick. How's it upside down? I don't know. Well, you look at it that way, it does. Oh, uh, well, I guess, yeah. I guess most dicks normally point down <laughs> or across. <laughs> oh, man. It just all depends do, on your do, perspective, do, I do, suppose. Do, do, do. Uh, Mega Morin says, fun fact about gummy sheep. I think perhaps Mega Morgan meant gummy ship, but accidentally wrote gummy sheep, and I or like that better. Intentionally. Uh, the overall mass of the ship affects your speed, so if you take off a bunch of BS, you go much faster. But the blocks, the BS blocks, uh, give you more armor, so. Please tell me how many times have you been attacked while driving a gummy ship to the extent that you've actually risked having to hey, redo the trip. Hey, Nicole? Yeah, what's up? Fucking... Yeah. Why don't you lay yeah. the fuck off? Okay? Does that mean that I'm free to go? No, it just means stop... Don't be such a... Uh, um, uh, yeah? Like a not nice got? lady. <laughs> Let's go. Don't be such a not nice lady. Good, good choice. Make good choices, Kyle. Uh, Brad, fake Brad Shoemaker wants to know why Kyle's balls have wings. Oh, God. Liam said, my dick looks nothing like this. My dick is a pulsating <laughs> mass of Lovecrafty and horror. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact about gummy sheep. They're delicious. <laughs> oh, God. This is actually a really small area to make your ship. Dude. Discipline Daddy says, are you keeping on this gummy thing? I'm going to go watch your PT video. We'll share my time. <clears throat> Thanks. What are we doing? I'm gummy shipping. How much longer is this going to go on for? Not much longer, probably. I am like the most tired, and I have to work all day. You don't. I have to work in eight hours and i can almost guarantee you that our dumb baby's gonna wake up sometime before then and the kid has to get ready for school and get on the bus oh you know i got that girl you got that yeah Great. you know. you're gonna do lunch prep of course great so when i leave i can go straight to bed damn straight oh <sighs> you're so tired Harold Krell says that his grandma told him once that the best kind of ship is the friendship. Ugh. It's gross. Harold Krell, uh, both you and your grandmother are terrible. You're perfect for each other. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so mean. Krell, why are you so mean? Can I tell you a secret? I don't think Harold Krell was actually talking about his real grandmother. And it's just Harold him. Krell now says that eight hours of sleep is enough for an adult human. Most adults, humans, actually only need four to five hours of sleep at night. Can Quick question, Harold Krell. Go fuck Have yourself. you ever tried to feed a tiny human person uh, from your own body? We're playing this card now. Also, when you have a, a disease that makes you feel as though you are constantly suffering mm. from a significant sleep deficit, because then you can go ahead and tell me that Eight hours of sleep is sufficient. Snap. Mizuru has to leave. Bye. Prize loser says that they would sleep for 20 hours a day if they could. <laughs> Discipline daddy says if they had only had five, four to five hours of sleep, they would be a serial murderer by now. <sighs> I mean, I'm basically surprised I'm not already a serial murderer. I am a serial murderer. But I only murder breakfast cereals. So Liam is giving me sass right now, and Mizuro said, "Hope that Nicole stops being sassed about nipples." Okay, bye. That's fabulous. 
Um, Liam says that people suck on his nipples all the time. It's pretty easy stuff, TBH. Liam, have you ever had someone physically hang from your body and chew on your nipples for upwards of five hours a day? Get back to me. Every day. Every goddamn day. Get back to me. I'm making our gummy ship so pretty and you're like not even appreciating it. Just saying. And yeah, we definitely need this decorative wheel somewhere because it's decorative. <laughs> It'll look very nice. Um, Liam said it's a fetish of his partner, so kind of tiring. Yeah, I get it. I what? This is. I'm so curious. Oh my god. This is the perfect place for this. <laughs> Zekir said, have you ever just had your nipples ripped off? <laughs> no. Do you think this is the perfect place for the tire to go? Yeah, basically. I feel like it creates a great little cock ring-esque situation. Man, you just gotta take it someplace terrible. <laughs> Liam just said, wait, why are there wheels? Exactly, that's what I've been saying. Liam, I've never heard you talk about a partner before. I did not know that you were partnered, and now I am naturally curious about said partner. Because that's how I roll. Oh, man. My fucking gummy ship is so tight. I thought you were going to make a comment. And I got a trophy for it. No, I don't care about Liam's partner. Co Rudy Baker goes, cock ring goes on top. <laughs> yeah, I mean, isn't that where you put your cock rings? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> this one daddy said I'd like to order a nothing ship with top tire. <laughs> Harold Krell decided to try and get things really real and said, well, FYI, I am currently a mother of five because I make questionable life decisions. <laughs> I haven't slept in nearly 67 hours because I'm heavily medicated on Clorox bleach because, once again, questionable life decisions. So don't tell me how to raise children because I'll tell you this, I get all my parenting advice from Family Circus because, once again, questionable life decisions. I mean, Glorp nailed it right on the head and said, I'm not sure Harold is telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's really all one can say. I'm actually shocked and appalled to learn that Harold Krell might be making something up. Oh, you you missed it earlier in the chat. He was talking about fuck Mary Kill regarding his grandmother. Well, that's just. I mean, come on. How some, long? Some things are okay to joke about, but not that. How long is are we gonna let this running gag of like you, Harold Krell? You're real getting close to getting booted before we actually just kick him out. I didn't think that it was... It wasn't a running gag before, just now it's starting to entertain me. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, last time we did this, you were like, Oh, if I get over the computer, you're getting Well, I told, him to, I told him to shape up, and I think he's done that. No. But kind of in a, in a different <laughs> no. way than what I expected. Just <laughs> shape up, make your dumb shit that you say just a little bit funnier and less offensive to me personally? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Great. Now I know I know I know how to make this work. Shape up or ship out, kid. He says you can't boot me because I'm a treasure. <laughs> oh, Liam has a significantly reasonable theory here. Liam says Harold Krell is just Keith. No, Keith would be funnier than Harold Krell is. Oh man. Do 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 we're done, right? We're not I'm done. flying to Traverse Town and then I'm stopping. Oh my god. Can't you warp there now? No. I think we have the warp gummies, but they're not like activated yet. Like we that happens in what Traverse Town. What does that Town. even mean? It's just part of a story thing. We have to do the Traverse Town thing before. Oh, you know what? I should stop at a uh, Coliseum because we should do that next. Were obviously. you just at the Coliseum? Yeah, well, that's why I'm now realizing my mistake. Here we go.
Wait, no, because we don't have Yellow Trinity. God damn it. Can we just be done? No. We're almost done. It's no, like, we're not almost done. You just got halfway to a place and then changed your mind and went back and then changed your mind again. I didn't go back. I'm still halfway there and now I'm doing the second half. We can't... I just realized we can't stop at Olympus Coliseum because we don't have the Yellow Trinity yet. We were halfway. Nicole. Coliseum and Traverse Town. No. And you changed your mind and went back. No. And then halfway through you changed your mind and went back. No. I w no, I... I started going from Coliseum to Traverse Town and then immediately stopped. I was not halfway. I stopped immediately. And now I'm Did redoing it. Did you go through the initial loading process? Yes, I went through the loading there you process. Go. So what? <laughs> that takes just as much time as actually going through the entire level. Did you not notice that? That loading, loading up the gummy ship areas takes just as much time as actually going through the gummy ship areas. That's not true. That is completely true. I... Nicole, I might not be telling you anything you don't know, but I think you might be a bit, t uh, a bit tired. Yes, I am tired. I would like to go to sleep now. We're getting there. You know what would have been great? Um, well, I think Dr. Pepper is great. No, I said what would have been great. If we had Dr. Peppers, that would be great. Uh, <laughs> I'm literally so tired I feel like I'm gonna cry. You can cry, it's fine. This is a safe place. We're open to tears. What? That's, you're mad at that? Shifty Cat said Q 45 minutes of gummy shipping back and forth. It's basically what I'm expecting. <laughs> See, what I don't understand is why we couldn't have ended at the Coliseum and then when we started the next time just started after we gummy shipped it all the way back up here because nobody is going to actually watch the gummy ship section. So they're just going to fast forward through it like normal people would. A, I disagree. Because you're a dumb idiot B, who likes the gummy ship sections. Uh, no, it was just because we needed to do it and it seemed reasonable to do it before starting the next episode. I just didn't know that I was going to be causing you like serious anguish by... Dude, no, Anguish was part. watching you build a dumb gummy ship for 20 minutes. I think it was only 10 minutes. Okay. But uh, I still haven't heard you thank me for our dope-ass gummy ship. Yeah, You're I'm not, welcome, I'm not by the way. <laughs> That's not a thing I'm going to do. All right, thanks for watching us, Kingdom Hearts. More Kingdom Hearts to come. YouTube.com <laughs> slash run button. Patreon.com slash run button. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash run button. At Sorian underscore Nim. At 19 letters long. At run button. Fire. fire. I'm going to put this here. Oh, look. We have the nice fire. Sorian underscore Nim. Arrow. Oh, I, that's an A. I love you all as though you were part of my family. <laughs> Liam said people watch 20 years of Sonic they won't fast forward through yeah. 5 minutes of gummy ship exactly. shit exactly barf vomit says I'm fast forwarding through this right now <laughs> uh. alright thanks guys Good night.